Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are at a minus six streak. Oh baby, that is not good. But we are playing as Tainted Kane to the lamb this time around. We actually had a really good time as Tainted Kane last time. And I am going to take on board something that you guys suggested. Um, some of you said that it would be a really good idea for this guy to just start with modeling clay just to make him more interesting. It does make him a little bit more overpowered than he otherwise would be, but I genuinely think and agree with you guys it's a really good idea. One thing I would really like to do is I'd like it if it gave you a broken heart each time you used it to just make it have a little bit of a downside to it, but for now we'll just keep it as it is. But I might uh, contact someone I know about uh, making that into a mod. So we'll go give um, modeling clay, is it? Yeah, model E. We'll give ourselves modeling clay. Um, oh wait, no, that's the trinket. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's the trinket. I don't want the trinket. I want give mold, is it molding clay? Molding, modeling. What the hell is it called? Clay. Is it called sculpting clay? I'm confused. Is it called sculpting clay? Give sculpting clay? It is called sculpting clay. Okay. Modeling clay is a uh, random passive each room. Okay. So. We're going to start with this. Like I said, I know that some of you may see this as a little cheaty. I'll be honest, if you do, I don't much care. Because this character is a bit of a nightmare uh, sometimes. And I really, really think that this item makes him a lot more fun. Because we still get an item of our choice per floor and we can create more. Uh, like I said, it might make him a little bit overpowered, but I think it makes him more fun. And I, yeah, I want to kind of maybe speak to some of the modders that I know and see about making this into an actual mod. Um, that has him start with this item and maybe make it give you a broken heart or deal like one heart of damage to you when you use it or something. Just something to... Oh, dude. Calm down. Something to just balance it out a bit and make it not quite as strong. I'm just getting an extra free item per floor. But now it means if we come across our item room, we can actually take the item. Um, and I like that. I think that's, I think that's fun. I think that's fun. Um, yeah, I gotta say, gonna have a bit of trouble with this bee dude here. Hopefully we can get a heart back here. Craft that up. Craft it up. Now one thing that does make the molding clear a little bit too strong, uh, for this purpose specifically at least, is that, um, I'm going to do this first real quick, is that you can steal items with it, which I think is a little bit uh, overpowered for this, but eh, like I said, it's fine. It's fine. We can steal like shop items and devil deals with it. But it is what it is. And yeah, if you guys like this idea, then cool if you don't then whatever it is what it is some like i think it was like three different commenters suggested it um that's actually i, I saw a mod recently uh, so this is like an item that i'd love to put on and we grab that and do you know what give me the soul heart again and i'll take everything else in here but i love Paras parasite so we'll definitely take that and then it only gets one use per floor as well um but I saw a mod come out recently that like changes a bunch of characters by giving them different starting cards and starting trinkets and stuff. And I actually really like the idea of a lot of it. A lot of it looked really good. Um, so it might be something that I look into maybe installing. And on that front, uh, as for the question of the day, how would you change any of the base game characters? What, what would be some changes that you would make? Some of the existing characters in the roster um, to improve them. So I'm sure there's, there's quite a few of you out there that have some decent ideas. There's some characters that you really think could do with some tweaking to make them a little more enjoyable. Right. This guy's gonna give me the item, isn't he? He didn't, okay. Um, okay, actually we can use the morbid heart here, maybe. Oh, I, can... oh, I can't quite reach it, god damn it. We'll grab, oh wait, no, that's an active, isn't it? We won't grab that. Damn it, stuff there that I could have gotten, but I can't get. Do not like that, do not like that. Uh, we wanna hide this F3 menu, cause it's, just kind of annoying. Good old pin. Good old easy breezy. Pinny pinny. No problem. Yeah, I love having Parasite here because it's just, it's a kind of a synergy magnet. Really, really cool for synergies. Can definitely add some lag to your game, but I am not adverse to that, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty much used to it by now. 
Um, oh, and this guy's got uh, some after enemies as well. I can deal with them. It's fine. Good, good. The caffeine pill here. Again, I'm taking the soul heart. We'll take a bomb in here and we get glass shard. Hell no. We'll take a heart in here. And we get the battery, which is also hell no. Um, I guess I'll just take the rest of these and keep... Oh, lucky penny. Probably should have put that in there. Oh, well, let's keep swapping it out. Let's go. Didn't end up crafting anything for the first floor, but that's whatever. Curse of the Montezuma. Um, I really need to take a look at my curses and uh, have a bit of a better idea of what our curses are. Because I do have a mod on that adds a bunch of new ones. Curse of Montezuma. Let's find out what that is. Slippery Ground works only inside uncleared rooms. Slippery Ground is absolutely horrible. Yeah, this is terrible. Slippery Ground gets me hit so goddamn much. I have to be very, very cautious. Yeah, bomb. We'll do for the penny. And sad bombs. I'll take sad bombs. Not bad. It does, it does actually give us the five bombs as well, which I, I definitely respect. But yeah, slippy ground is very, very difficult. But I do like having new curses with the eclipse mod on, so... Definitely not a fair switch. I'm just... I'm still confused as to why they decided to add the curse symbol to the top left rather than where it normally would be for every other curse. Vanilla or, or modded. It's a strange decision. Strange decision. But yeah, I, the question of the day, definitely, how would you change some of the vanilla characters? That would be interesting. Just absorb all this up. See what our item ends up being here. Mum's wig. Don't think I'm bothered about mo modeling clearing Mum's wig. I will take the keys. Everything else can get in my pouch. That was a lucky penny as well. Whoops. And we can go over in here. See what's what. Uh, definitely want a bomb in there. Common cold is fine by me. I'll take it. I'll take all this money in. But good. Right, keep moving on. Keep moving on. But yeah, makes this 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 whole process just makes Sainted Kane a lot more agreeable to me. Can I kill you while you're inside this radius? Maybe. No. That's a no. Ah, oh, damn it. I tried to kill them in the radius of this thing, but a little tricky. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. We will get from it what we get from it. Hey, to be fair, two pills. A flush? No, thank you. This is this is the sort of problem with Tainted Kane as, as he is by default. You just get so many items that you just don't care about or want. I actually really like this slippy ground as a curse. It's, it's a pretty pretty interesting curse, to be honest. Adds a bit of difficulty, but it's not anything too out there. I swear certain rooms it could be pretty bad, but it's only in uncleared rooms, so we will grab that in. It's not very good, is it? Just so many items you can get that are just so terrible for you. Common Cold doing good work here as well. Oh, God. I just got to make sure not to move around too fast because the slippy ground really gets to you. Another active item. No, thank you. Bad hit by me there. Oops. I should kill you. Lovely, it did. I'll take, change out our pennies for something. I'm not, I'm not putting any more pennies into it. It's not, not a good idea. It's not working for us. Oh, God. Being accurate while you're like, trying to stand still on slippy ground. That's that's where the annoying... That's where it feels really annoying and really inconvenient. Because you're just trying desperately to stay in one spot. It's like, no, no, no. You're going to keep very ever so slightly moving around. There you go. There's a bomb to put in it. Hey, there you go. That's not bad. This die to give us damage plus range in our other eye. Or every other shot. I can't remember exactly how that works now, I'll be honest. But yeah, I can imagine certain rooms and certain bosses and stuff. Slippy Ground is actually goddamn awful. But right now, we're not dealing with that, so let's not worry about that. Nice. Bomb did a good job there. Slippy, slippy. Um, let's first of all check in here for our stealable items. Very much want that. I'll be taking that very much so. Um, and I think I'm going to leave everything else in here, probably. Right, 
grab everything else in our pouch. Good, good, good. And we keep her moving. Okay, liking how things are panning out. But yeah, it just means that if you have some bad luck with crafting, you've still got a way out. That's a really good buff, but I ain't gonna steal that. Soul Heart, I will take you. D10, no thanks. Joyful's pretty good. We will take Joyful. Our character is looking quite intriguing right now, I'd say. Quite intriguing indeed. But yeah, definitely the most overpowered thing we've been able to do so far is steal that Devil Deal. And that's realistically where I'd want the idea of it giving you a, a Broken Heart pair use to balance out that aspect of it. But I definitely think that aspect is the strongest, is being able to steal Devil Deals. And pretend, also potentially shop items as well, but obviously the shop items aren't as high of a cost and usually aren't as good of items. Whereas the Devil Deals on the other hand are kind of crazy. Cards, that's nice. The joyful thing's actually going to give us more cards, which is going to be really, really nice for us. Calm down, you little. Really? That didn't kill you? Oh my god, I'm having a really hard time killing that guy. Okay, we got it. And you have mini battery and this, which is going to give us. Eh. Blue Baby's only friend. Don't particularly care for it. It's just this, it's just this annoyingness of having to constantly cycle through so many items to get something that's worth even a little bit to you. I will take the key, actually. I need the key. You there as well. Do these guys take less damage when they're in ball form? I don't think they do, but they definitely should. Which, I, honestly, I don't like enemies that do that, so maybe they shouldn't, but in terms of, like, logically, I feel like they should, because it's kind of like they're in an armoured little ball. They're self-contained. Now this is a cute take. A hey, blood clot. Take it. Another damage plus range. Our every other tier is doing a lot of damage at the minute. Good. Ooh, I didn't think that had burst into tears there for some reason. Grab that bad boy. Should be able to get the Stinted Rock here, which I'll take the Soul Heart for. I'll take these in the... Ooh, bad hit, bad hit. Oh, there is another one of them down here. Didn't even realise. Hey, my bomb did a lot of good there, though. Could have picked that bomb up, as is. And we've got you. We've actually got a tinted rock right there. That was a very bad hit by me, but again, it is what it is. Ooh, I've just realised our locusts that explode have um, sad bombs. They, they take on our bomb effect, which is pretty damn strong. I very much like that. This guy is a boss that I'm still very unfamiliar with the rework of and kind of often forget how he works, so be patient with me, please. It's a pretty fun rework for a boss, though, I've got to say. Definitely makes him a lot more interesting than he previously was. Uh, another joyful. Take that. Range plus damage. Rather nice. We haven't actually used our uh, molding clay this floor, so we ought to go to our shop and try and use it. On just something. Because that's going to happen some floors. Some floors you're not going to get a good opportunity to make the most of it. But that's definitely something that makes it not as good, because you you're don't you not always needing to use it. What are you doing, dolphin boy? I don't remember what you do. I'll take the key. But yeah, watch this little locust here when it explodes. Do you think? Do you think? There you go. It does sad bombs into Parasite and it just covers the entire room, which lags the hell out of the game, but it is what it is. You're going to be rather annoying. Oh god damn, this thing has so much health. Wow. Capture that in there. Once we get something poisoned, we can kind of just leave it alone from that point on. Just carry on with our day. Goddamn. Looking, at the, looking into our face here. Our character just looks so goddamn goofy. But I guess we'll take the compass. Like, it's not that great, but it's a free item. I guess we'll just have it. Right. 
really should be looking for my secret rooms as well, because honestly, pretty valuable to find them. Um, we could have a lot going on. Oh, something that I haven't really spoken about on my channel recently. This is just something that I've now thought, actually, I want to talk about, and you're, I'm going to force you all to listen. I mean, you don't have to click off the video, but you know what I mean. Um, is the upcoming release of Diablo 4. Ooh, baby. Comes out this week, um, and this is a game that I've been, like, waiting for for a long, long, long time. Like, for those of you that don't know, Diablo 3 um, is still one of my most played games of all time. I think Isaac has only just recently beaten it out. Um, like, I, I think I have about 1,600 hours in Diablo 3, and I have about 1,700 now in The Binding of Isaac. Uh, that's on Steam. I have a little bit more off Steam. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Diablo 3, game that I played the absolute living hell of. Absolutely loved it. Tried out the Diablo 4 beta earlier this year, and god damn, I enjoyed it so damn much. Um, and the game comes out, like, the end of this week, and oh my god, I'm so hyped for it. I'm going to play that so much. Bottle of water, nice. Probably should have picked up that before I crafted the bottle of water, to be honest. Because it would have uh, it would have gulped it. My bad. But yeah, um, oh god damn, I'm so hyped for it. I don't know if any of you out there are big into um, ARPGs or like Diablo, like the, the game in general, but oh my god. I'm so, it's like, I I haven't really been all that hyped for it until like this week. And now I'm like, oh my God, it's so, it's coming so soon. And I'm so goddamn hyped for it. And I just cannot wait to play it. It's going to be an absolute blast. I was like considering maybe recording it for YouTube, but I think I might do that like after my first playthrough. I think it's one of those games that for one, it doesn't fit my channel very well anyways. But for two, um, one of those games that like is sort of special to me. So I want it to be like something that I, um... What's this do? I don't know, don't know what this is. Oh, okay. All start stuff. Um, I want it to be one of those games that I can just kind of, kind of have to myself and enjoy. I'm going to take the bombs and then look up everything else. Hey, good stuff. Mad Onion's very nice. Yeah, and oh my god. I, I might do it for YouTube after like my second playthrough. Oh, it's this thing that fires up for fortune shots. I forgot about that. That might be annoying. That might be a little annoying, but we're in it now. Still, though, we're doing a lot of damage, so I'm not going to worry too much. Key. And yeah, well, that's another question of the day, actually. What's like, what's like the last game that you were just super, super hyped about? I don't really like get on board with gaming hype now. F for one, I'm older and I feel like that kind of diminishes as you get older in general. Like as a kid, like, oh, I remember G waiting for GTA 5 to come out. Oh, that was amazing. All that sort of stuff. Uh, waiting for like the new Call of Duties to come out and the Call of Duty DLCs and stuff. Hype around those was great. Um, I'd rather say that. Um, yeah, the hype around those was absolutely amazing as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I just remember, like think as like as I've gotten older, that sort of hype has definitely died down a little. Um, don't know why I bothered crafting Winger Beam there, but oh well. Um, but every now and again there'll be a game that I'm super hyped about. I think also as well, like in gaming now, there's just much re less reason to get hyped about games because they so often just release in really really poor states. Like I was reasonably hyped for Cyberpunk, and then that was obviously. I enjoyed the hell out of it, but the release was a letdown. There's no doubt about that. Um, even, though I, even though I thoroughly think the game is still very good. Even when it came out, I thought it was really good. I've got like 80 hours in it. But it's even better now. I need to do a replay through of that, actually. Uh, stapler, I'll take. And we'll... That. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't really get hyper about games like I used to. But I will say, I am... Very, very hyped for Diablo 4 because for one, like I said, it's a game series that I've that I've played a lot of, but also it's 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 a series that I hold like quite dear to me because for one, it's just like an early memory for me. Like I've I've played it for for a long, long time. It's like one of the first games that I really, really got into. But also it's a game that I used to play with my dad like a lot. So it's sort of special in that reason as well. And I'm probably gonna play this one with my dad once he gets it. Although I don't think he's gonna get it on release, because he's not the sort of person that like 
gets on the hype train for things. So he's uh, he's not. I don't think he's gonna buy it on release. If I, let's say Ipecac mod voiceover voice. That's my voice. What the hell? What fortune is that from? That's my voice. That's the Ipecac mod voiceover voice. <laughs> Um, you like dogs? I'm not reading any of these, by the way, for the most part. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely hype for that reason. What is this? Every room a random rock will turn into an angelic statue. Standing inside the statue's aura grants you... Oh my god, enemies that try uh, into... Oh god damn, I like the idea behind that. I like the idea behind that a lot. No thank you for this dice. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's such a cool idea. Another sty. We're getting a lot of those. But yeah, so so and then and then like I played the I played the beta of the game and I actually like a bunch of, like, diehard Diablo fans had issues with it, especially those that were big into Diablo 1 and 2, but I, I never played those games, really. I know about them, and I have, like, seen seen a lot about them, but I didn't really play those games, so it didn't really affect me much, and I, I, I enjoyed it so goddamn much. I'm just so, like, hyped to play it. So ready for it. And also, it's just one of, my, it's one of those games that I feel is so, like, you can just binge it. You can just play so much of it, and I'm definitely going to be doing that, so... I'm, at the minute, like, literally this is what I'm doing right now. This is what this video is. I'm prepping videos um, so that I don't have to record anything for, like, a solid week. So that I can just have a week off of all my responsibilities. I haven't booked time off work, but I'll, um, I'll work my way around that. But I can, like, sort of take a break from, like, all my main responsibilities and just uh, spend all of my free time playing Diablo for, like, a solid week. And it's, it's going to be joyous. It's going to be very, very good. I'm really looking forward to it. We got this again, we can gulp. Nice, nice. So over here. And yeah, it'd just be nice to say here, sort of, what's, what was your last game like that? Because, oh god. A hype. Ooh, goddamn, we got um, a golden Spelunkers hat there. Yeah, I've not seen this item before with the uh, statues, but I really like it. What's this safety cup do? 10% chance to get double hearts, coins, keys. Um, okay. We'll take that. Firming bombs? Why not? I think that works quite well with our bomb synergies we've got going on right now. What actually have we got to do with this guy? Boss rush would be good if we can make it. Which is somewhat plausible. I didn't mean to use a bomb there, but I did. God, visibility is low right now. Probably should have picked up that regular bomb. Normal bombs I really need to be just picking up because they're actually pretty valuable to us. But yeah, it's gonna feel like it's gonna feel like being a kid, sort of, the way that I'm gonna play that game. And it's been a while since I did that. A really long time. And yeah, if anyone ever like wants to play Diablo with me or getting Diablo 4, let me know. I'd definitely be up for it. Take that, why not? Gives us some friends. Further those in. Just the blur. Good old blur. We're gonna be killing stuff really fast though. Good, good. Easy kill. Um, unfortunately, I did not think about our, uh, ability to take an angel deal here. Don't know what that is. Ah, to be fair, it's not, not an item I really need. I don't think it's that big of a loss. 
Breath of Life, lovely. Cat and Nine Tails, nice. Good. Then Bell Clapper. Take Bell Clapper, thank you. Okay, we keep it going. Keep it tight. Uh. But yeah, it's just it's just like nice to be excited about something in gaming. And I'm not saying that like Diablo 4 is gonna be the best game to ever release, but based on the based on what I played in the beta and based on the changes that they've already made since the beta, it's gonna be a good game that I'm gonna really enjoy. I don't think there's too much um, I don't think there's going to be too much surprises in terms of the quality of the game. I don't think it's going to be like Cyberpunk where we didn't really get to see enough to know how good it was going to be on launch. I think we're in a situation where I know it's going to be, like, pretty good on launch. I can, I can say the quality is going to be pretty decent. Now, let me get back in here. Bombs. Bombs I'm just taking. I want as many of those as possible because any hard boss we come across, we can insta-kill with a bomb. I'm EP. Go. And just walk into that bad boy. Box of spiders. No, thank you. That's pretty good too. More bomb upgrades. Pit fillers. Basically, we can fill pits with our bombs now. Not super valuable, I'll admit, but it's nice. Cool. A few cards in there. Good to go. I really like the way the angel statues look as well here. Shortcut to our shop. I like that. Just pennies. Oh, you're healing up. Not for long, sunshine. Not for long. Don't know what... Oh, wait. That's an active, I think. I do not want an active. Thank you. That's pretty useless to us as well. That's just the black market thing, so we can get free uh, shops. I don't need that, though. Good. We haven't done boss rush yet, so we'll definitely get on that. Solar Cane would be a really good unlock for us as well. Take that. Zazel's spawn, nice. Don't destroy my rock. This rock gives me herming. Good. Um, we're going to go negative. I can hear. I will take a little delirium. Why not? Go in here. Oh, yes. It's in a really good location. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter which one of these we take, but I'll still have a look anyways. On go, baby. Why not? Ow. I'm just trying to craft like I do me dirty like that. But yeah, so really, this rock's in a really good place because now we can do this. Obviously not with every boss, but with a lot of bosses, we can get away with a bit of extra there. I'm sure you guys are going to pick out some really funny uh, fortunes that pop up while I'm playing here. That I don't end up noticing. I can live with that. Uh. Swamp. But yeah, the, the, the herming will let us like curve around the corner and hit the boss. Sm that says smoke the cancer out. That beautiful. You are dead now. You are going to be soon as well. I don't need to use the Herming, I realise I am overdoing it a bit. I could just fight them normally, but it's fun to use it. This doesn't look like it's going to be too hard of a boss rush, though. Tell you what I could do, is I could try and clear all the rocks but that one. It's a little bit difficult to do that.
Oh, what the fuck? What happened to that bomb then? What? Oh, my bombs are herming. God damn it. I forgot about that. Okay. Doesn't matter. That that, that whole herming, that, that whole idea is gone. I kind of completely forgot that my bombs would herm towards the enemies. I'm like, where the hell is this bomb off to? It's like, oh yeah. That's one of the items that we have that does that. We have plenty of hearts to work with though here. Oh, that probably just means we get Yum Heart. One other thing in there. Give us a Soul Heart to mix in there. Why not? Chess. This. Oh, look at, look at you. I can barely see you, my guy. Stop. Okay, I don't know how many waves we are through here, but I think we've still got quite a few to go. Oh, we've got Kingpin inbound. A boss of fair fun and balanced, of course. Hack ingredients. What the hell is going on here? It's all sorts of confusing this is. Ghosts coming in. Oh, we got jo we got joyful activated. That's good because now joyful's activated. It means we uh, get double damage for a little bit off of the rest of the room. I think it is. Please take out this guy quickly. He's annoying as all hell. Help! I'm suffocating. Some of these are like have a bit of like make a little bit of sense, others are just completely nonsensical. Okay, we've got to be close now. Gets to be close. Damn, we're killing these so fast with this double damage. Hey, there you go. Wait, what? I thought we were going to lock Solar Cane there as well. Oh, we've not done Hush. Okay, doesn't matter. My, my bad. My bad. Hot bombs? Why not? We're getting bomb upgrades going like crazy here, so... Nope, we don't want that. Another one! I don't even know if having multiple blood cards does anything for you, but... Hey, her. Why not? Why not? Keep moving on. Try and use our herming in rooms where we can. It's fun because some rooms are going to have like one rock. So it's like perfect placement. But yeah, if we could do hush that, I'd be great. But I'm not going to be distraught if we can't. Oh, we need to pick up keys. We're going to need a lot of keys. Just realized. But yeah, keys are going to be kind of important for us. Because we're going to want to open all the chests in hush. Please go away, creep. Not like I was talking to someone specifically then, but I'm also just meant the creep on the floor. Both the enemies are the creep and the creep on the floor. I'm talking to all of it. I don't really want this item that we've just got here. Ow. My bad. Taking some bad damage here. Well, what the hell happening with the text there? That's strange. A little bit weird. Push fight's going to be kind of long, though. That's the only thing. Little Steven. We're near to conjoined, right? We're one little fun friend off of conjoined, I think. Definitely take the key. Good. And joyful. The joyful pills that they're, they're really good because even though I'm not using them for their intended reason, it's more stuff to put in the uh, in the old bag. More cards and cards are valuable. To put in there, getting an excess of them from it. I will pick up that bomb. 
you do. You should go down pretty damn quickly, my guy. In fact, we're going to second phase you, like, almost immediately, right? He's already in second phase as soon as he stops. Good, good, good. My right, pony. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything to copy this floor. That just is what it is. Don't know what that is, but it, the problem is it could be an active, so I don't want to take it. That's an active. That is a baby friend. Gemini. Good, good. Yeah, th that's going to be the only problem with having starting with a clear. There's a lot of actives that I don't know are active sort of thing. Don't know why I'm bothered going through here. A boss room tricked me into where it is. I'm confused. We got beats. Ow. Very bad hit by me. We need seven keys, I think it is. Seven is like the minimum amount. A push. And then we need four more after that. Oh no, we don't, because we're going dark path. We only need seven. That's achievable, this floor, I heard. Mini boss here. See who you might be. I love it when he throws all of them bombs down, because it just clears so much space. There's some... Real bombs. These are going to be good against Hush. That's something I didn't really think about. Hush is going to get absolutely destroyed by those. But yeah, is there, is there any, like, game series that you guys are, like, really loyal to? Because, like, even though, like I said, I've only mainly played Diablo 3, I think Diablo is just a game series that I'm, like, really into. The only thing that sucks about it is it's developed by Blizzard, and Blizzard is uh, a not-so-popular not so company right now. They've, they've been doing some shady stuff. Um, a lot of a lot of crunch and a lot of like bad working conditions and stuff. So not the not the most ideal company to be a fan of their games, but it is what it is. And there was the whole crap they pulled with Diablo Immortal as well. Diablo Immortal was like a whole fiasco, but it's stupid. Like basically they released Diablo Immortal, which was the mobile version of Diablo, which is essentially just a way for them to make a lots and lots and lots of money. Um, just a way for them to make lots and lots and lots of money. But people people fell for it and it made them lots and lots and lots of money. Like, th that, that game is, like, hugely popular and financially profitable for them. So everyone complained about it, but the people that are buying it are still buying it. So who cares what complaints they get on on the on their end, I guess. But what's going to stop them if, if they've, everyone's buying their games anyways? That was a really, really good timing for a bomb, that was. Good, good, good. We only got five keys, unfortunately, so we're a little bit off. Um, We will steal Wrath. I don't think having two Wraths will do anything for us. Steal Wrath, at least. We'll head down to Hush and get ourselves our um, Soul of. Cares of Poverty. I wonder what Curse of Poverty does. Curse of Poverty. Poverty, where is it? Greed, uh, greedy enemy tears drops your coins when enemies tears hit you. That's mostly fine. Three dollar bills, really good. I'd certainly be up for taking that. Nugget bombs is also really good. The halo is really good. Um, I think I'm... I think I'm actually going to go for nugget bombs, which seems crazy, but... It is what it is. That bad boy. Here, and we take the halo, and we take the bomb. Broken shell's decent here. Take broken shell. Take a little look in here. Take the bombs. And then two of those. Again, take all the bombs we can. 
think that just gives a black heart a spicy key. Actually, it does give a spicy key to allow us to open both of those up. Pretty valuable, actually. This paperclip thing we've got going on here, this trinket, pretty good stuff. Don't know what this is. Don't want to take it again because it's an a potential active. Capsule's nice. That was pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Right, let's go. We've got 48 bombs to work with as well here. Not going to use any bombs for the first phase. Ooh, I forgot we have Wrath. I forgot we have Wrath. And hopefully eventually Joyful procs and uh, gives us double damage for the rest of the room. I love the first phase of this guy now. Honestly, visibility is definitely going to be our biggest problem right now. Can't see goddamn anything. Jerry. I'm calm, I'm calm. Holy shit. Okay. Wrath plus sad bombs causes something to happen. Hmm. Oh, I think it's hot bombs, actually, not sad bombs. And the hot bombs fire is doing a lot. It's going to be a laggy fight, but it's going to be a fun one. And we've got, obviously, the Nugget guys there as well doing their thing. I didn't realise he was on the ground there for a bit. My bad. No, I think it is sad bombs, actually, because it spawns after the bomb explodes. But that is very satisfying. Ooh, my little, um... One minute. My little pooters are doing... My... Wait. Dude. The pooters from Nugget Bombs adopt your other bombs' effects. So they're doing, like, radial shots sometimes for sad bombs. They've got homing because we've got bobby bombs. That's so damn cool. I love the way it, like, there's a circle around you and then they all just home in. Nugget Bombs is so goddamn cool for that. It has all those extra synergies. Oh my lord, that was a lot of shots. And he's underground as well. Luckily, they'll just hover until he pops back up there. Could be any time now. We'll, we'll, we'll never know. The like that this is adding is crazy. No, they're all fading away. What a waste, you stupid boss. Let's 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 collectively, let's all decide to make a mod. Find some of the best people at modding and make a mod that stops Hush going underground. It's bullshit and no one likes it. What are you homing in on? Stupid. Dude, stop going underground. It's just not even funny. So stupid how st poorly designed this whole thing is. What fun is it to fight a boss where you can just be like, nah, nah, or not. One more bomb should do it for us. There you go. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, we're doing Dark Path, right? Dark Path, yeah. Awesome. Solar Cane has been unlocked. We go. The fact that the pooters last the entire time, they deal our damage, and they adopt your other bombs' effects. That's crazy cool. Absolutely love that as an idea. We've got enough bombs for the next two bosses as well here, so that's good. They're still alive, really. Don't really need to craft anything more, I don't think. Every single time you hit me with that bullshit. Come on, boy. Die, please. Just give me the black heart. More bombs? 
Thank you, thank you. Whoa, all the bounty tiers going crazy. Try and kill that guy before he goes in the ground. No! How dare you! Oh my god, that enemy. Very frustrating. Unfortunately, I don't think our mini bomb from Broken Shell adopts tier effects. Or bomb effects, should I say. So hard to see what's going on room to room. Genuinely so difficult. Trying my best. Thank you, Dry Baby. Most useful of you. Okay, boss time. Three, two, one, and bomb. Insta killed that boy. Good, and then... Ah, oh, that was stupid. Really bad hit by me there. Okay, then he's basically dead. God damn, that was some bad hits. Our health is not looking great right now. Mark of Kin, nice. Oh, there was an Immortal Heart there. Immortal Heart, sorry. That I just missed. Guppy's Paw, don't care. Does this give me Guppy if I take this plus this? Probably not, right? Probably not. But like, also... I want to find out. Wait, wait, let me let me try this. Give me one of those, and then two of those. Damn it! Wait, it did give, it, it, it did give me one. I didn't think about the fact that it wouldn't actually give me anything. Damn, okay. Didn't really work the way I thought it would. I'm stupid. It's fine though. My health is not looking good. We do have Guppy's Tail now, which is a really good item to get on this floor, but it means a lot more chests. It means a lot more items, but not actual items, just loot for item. Which I didn't think about is also not great. God damn it. It's all really not gone the way I was, was hoping for, I'll be honest. Man, I can barely see what's going on in this room. Miracle I didn't get hit there. Rubber Baby should give us conjoined. Yes, it does indeed. Awesome. Good. Chests. That's a lot of bombs. Thank you. I'll take some mini Isaacs as well. Why not? Yeah, any room that looks even a little bit challenging. Choose our bombs on. Our bombs are going to do better than we ever could. Don't know if we're going to live through the boss here, but we'll certainly try our best. Oh, the boss is up that way. Okay. We're going the complete wrong way right now. We need to reevaluate and turn this around. Back we go. I think we're up this way and to the right. D7? No, thank you. D4? Big no. Oh, really? It tricked me. Big no, thank you. This way. And then up. So easy to trick you with a minimap. Why I don't like having the compass item. You see? I'd rather take it on natural instinct. Works much better for me. Okay, you have been taken out, good sir. 
Well, it's kind of a slightly hard room. Let's get Nugget in there. It wasn't that hard, but you know what I mean. <gasps> a soul heart. Take the boot, why not? I might take one of those joyful pills in the boss fight. Just get that double damage going. If we get one before the boss fight, that is. We probably should. Golden Bombs is absolutely huge. I use my bombs like crazy. It's absolutely crazy. They're just going to die to all the various pooters doing all their things. <clears throat> all the crap it creates all over the screen. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a joyful tilt. Ow. Bad hit. Right. In we go. Don't know what's going on over there. Just get me the hell out of here. There's too much going on in every room right now. It's so, so hard to see. Am I winning? Anyways. Activate this. Gives us double damage. I hit myself with my own bomb there, I think. I'm going to be very quick about getting this kill. There you go. We got it. We got it. Woo! Right. No victory lap. Thank you. Thank you for the unlock. And there you go. A nice little win with Tainted Kane. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.